Hello well, guys, what is up? This is Lil Maz, aka Daniel Roscoe. We're back to the video book with our bang. In today's video, I seen a little bit how it's hyped and my voice is a little bit ratchy today, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of hear it in my voice. But in today's video, we have a bape review. And I don't know why I showed the bag first, but you know, you can tell by the bag. This is not a fake piece that I usually would review. This isn't the shark hoodie. All right, this isn't, well, you know, just a better example. This is not the shark hoodie. This isn't the um, shark shorts. This is a literal bait tee that I ended up buying. Why is it a big deal? I don't know, because I paid 119 for this. It actually won, it was a 1980, I believe, a nine one nineteen dollar one no, one, oh, the fuck am I saying? <laughs> $119, um, maybe 80 cents, I believe. Some of that, I have to pull up the, I have to put up the information, but. So yeah, this is the info right here. $119.18 for this t-shirt. I did spend a lot. Yeah, this is a uh, black x blue that's the color item number one uh oh it was a one yeah one i three zero one one zero zero five three xl and then yeah this, this is it this is a real bait tee um this is the camo this is actually a pretty cool print that they did on the tissue paper pretty sure that comes standard with all bait products i believe that's you know clothing like you know t-shirts shorts and hoodies and whatnot but yeah, um, you can definitely tell from the other bags I've had in the past with bait. You know, fake Chico. Now with him taken care of, let's continue to the video. My voice just cracked, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't need a deeper voice. But yeah, this is the bait tea I keep on trying to hype up. This is the ABC Blue Camo College Tea, and you can check the tags. I did get off the official website. Bada bing, bada boom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just like that. So like more than this, like. No. So this is authentic. This is not your fake tea. And for you haters down there, they're gonna say this is fake. I bought it off the website. All right. It can't get more real than that. Literally from the website, I bought it. It wasn't some sort of knockoff like Bape for Cheap or, you know, something like that or Amazon. No, no, no. This is literally a t-shirt I paid serious money for with my own hard-earned money for my own job. So, with that out of the way, let's go over the details. So, we have the ape head in the ABC blue camo. We have the bathing ape in the ABC blue camo. And then the rest is just a black shirt. Just in a really good cotton. It's a thicker, heavier cotton than what your normal shirt would be. This is like... This is cotton, too, and this... Feels thicker, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this, this feels thicker. So, yeah, this is already right off the bat higher quality. The screen print on this is pretty thin. It's an Adidas T. Trifle logo. This is a bathing ape, obviously, and this feels slightly thicker. Um, I would say the quality is just like a, a slightly higher quality T. I know I hype it up compared to the fakes because it is like compared to the fakes, it's so much higher quality. But in reality, your thirty, sixty dollar T is going to be almost the same thing. But this is a bathing ape, and it's going to be more rare than said, you know, the, these things. But um, yeah, we'll we'll compare it to this. This is the closest thing we have to a, you know, call it not not really, but I mean like, still so in terms of the print. So this right here, actually, this I'm not going to lie. This does feel slightly thicker than this even. But compared to the real thing, not even close. Not even close. This doesn't feel as high quality as the uh, bathing ape one, you know, the real one, the babe. Then um, another thing I would say, the cotton, well, this is going to be heavier in general. This is a hoodie. So I, I would assume it would have thicker like cotton, but it doesn't feel as good as this one. This one feels nicer, I would say. This one feels like it's, uh, actually, I'd say it's the same. In the same areas, like. No, this is. I feel like this is thicker, actually, because like if you feel around the hood, it's obviously gonna be thicker. It's multiple layers, but like around this area, if you were just to get the cotton, then this feels nicer. I would say the, the real one. So when I recommend buying a a twenty dollar to like, but I recommend buying a nineteen to. 30 to 40 dollar tea that's fake or a real one in terms of cotton this is pretty much this is it's all cotton this is like slightly better cotton but if you're just there just for for um for looks just go with the fake i'm gonna I'm be for real here i'm not trying to 
put down bape. I'm not trying to do any of that. I am just trying to tell you guys what is a good decision. But if you really want the brand and you really want to have it lot, like last a lot longer, then you're going to want the real thing. Because the real thing is going to last longer than the fake, for obvious reasons. Better quality control and more effort goes into the piece. As it should at 119. Now, hell, there's the other t-shirts that were um, 119 without the shipping, without the tax. Well, I wasn't taxed, believe it or not. Usually I get taxed, but this time I was not, so... That's good. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this, I really like because it's ABC Blue. I, if they made it red, I'd totally cop it. But the closest thing with that was the pink, and I'm not I'm not about to do that. All right, I'm not about to buy a pink tee. That's not my thing. They had the green, too, but I was going to get the black tee because your boy be kind of, you know, getting messy with the t-shirts because, you know, I eat steak and whatnot. So, Yeah. Also, the greasy foods, like, you know, buttered popcorn that I can get messy on the tee. So, I'm obviously not going to get a white t-shirt for obvious reasons. So, I went with the black. And the blue seems to pop a lot. Like, look at that. Like, it pops like crazy. So, away from the fakes and away from comparing, how does it stand alone? Well, <laughs> you got to get the picture. Better quality cotton and everything. But would I still buy it? Honestly, over the overview of this with the ABC blue camo and the black print... I'd probably purchase this again. I honestly would. Not for the value, but because it looks pretty cool. And also it's got some sentimental value being my very first real piece of vape that I can actually wear. So, yeah. Um, Actually, I'll throw it on real quick. So just give me a second. All right, there we go. So this is what the t-shirt looks like on me. So as you can notice, it's a lot bigger than the fake, you know, than the fake vape. I've, got, I've gained some weight. Don't, don't, don't judge me. So this is what it looks like from the side, the back, I'm saying the front, the back and the side really don't look too different, except for the little logo right here, but um, the front is definitely where, where the vape's going to show, obviously. And actually, I did add my gold chains to this, like this piece right here, which is 18 inches and 22 inch gold chain, just to kind of show you what I mean when it's, when the collar is a bit tight. Now, it's definitely going to suffocate you, it doesn't do any of that, but it certainly, if you're a chain wearer like me, and you want to show off the chains that are slightly shorter at 22 to 18 inch. This t-shirt is definitely a go at my size. I'm around 5'8", somewhere around there. 223. And this is what it looks like. So yeah, I might gain weight, honestly. But yeah, now I'm about to show you what I mean with the, with the fake bait. When I put this thing on. It's kind of a crime, honestly. It's really a crime. Because I do wear real shoes with the fake bait. But I feel like it's weird when you have real bait with the with the fake bait. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to zip this thing up. And this actually did have a zipper malfunction today when me and my friend went out fishing. Um, so yeah, here we go. Why are we still zipper malfunction today? Just to suffer. When you know it. <laughs> oh man, that's that's bad. But I mean, like, let me show you. This is what I mean. Like it doesn't go down all the way. Sure ends. And this is where the hoodie starts. You want to pull this thing down like. Oh god, yeah, that's not that's not not because I'm fat, it's just because of the zipper, but yeah. This thing gonna Oh. Oh. I fixed it last time. One sec. Probably the last fake bait hoodie I'll buy for a while, but um, yeah. So that is the review on a real piece of bait. So, like I said, now knowing that hoodie malfunctioned like that, you just saw right when I talked about the malfunction, it malfunctioned. So, yeah, now with the malfunctioning hoodie in mind, would I recommend buying the okay? You obviously know the answer to this, of course, of course, you would want to buy the real thing. As far as hoodies go, go for the real thing. Even if, 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 you, if you can't afford it, but you can just save up, buy the real thing. Because if you have that malfunction in public, it's going to cost you your social anxiety. Trust me. 
I have social anxiety. It's going to make you more aware if your hoodie malfunctions. So be aware. But for t-shirts, on the other hand, would I still recommend it? Obviously. Because I used to be team reps, but... And real. I used to be 50-50. Now I'm fully on the real side. I probably will buy reps more than real. Okay, then it's still 50-50. But you get the point here. I prefer having the real thing, but sometimes I will go after the fake if they don't have it in my size. Or if I can't obtain it. Because sometimes you do need clothes in a, in, a, in, a, in a really quick. So that's why. Well, not really quick. You know what I mean. Like if you're desperate and you are impatient and you want that new drop and you can't afford it. You just go after the fake and then that's how shit happens. So yeah. Overall, I would recommend buying this. I'll link down the website down below where I got it from. Which was us.bape.com where I got the hoodie. Another hoodie for the... Not the hoodie, obviously. The hoodie's goddamn fake. But yeah, for this um, t-shirt, I'll link it down below. And I probably will put a link to GOAT in the description because I, I do trust GOAT the most out of StockX and GOAT. For obvious reasons. Because, you know, I heard StockX is a bad rep. And I buy off of GOAT all the time for all my shoes. And they are all 100% real. I've had no issues except for a pair of Yeezys. But that was probably my fault. Because my toe wasn't hitting the suede on the inside of the toe box. It was hitting the prime knit. So, rest in peace. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's going to take a minute to edit, but I don't really care. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. No, 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 no. On a real note, though. What is up with this hoodie? <laughs> I, I loved the hoodie, and all of a sudden it started to size malfunction like this. Oh, wait, did I? No, it didn't. Oh, my God. It's a fucking piece of shit. Look at that. Trash.